confirm that the family has now received absolute proof that Ken Bigley was executed by his captors. How we all as individuals handle crisis situations will differ from person to person, family member to family member. It is important to be considerate of one another's view and actions. In that respect, the family here in Liverpool believe that our government did everything it possibly could sec to secure the release of Ken in this impossible situation. It could be that the fate of Ken, Eugene and Jack was sealed from day one. We will never know. Over the last few weeks, we have successfully shielded our mother from the painful and graphic details shown on television and in the press. The bereavement of a child, no matter how old, is hard enough without this anguish. The family would like to ask the media to help by leaving us to grieve in the privacy of our own homes and continue to respect that privacy thereafter. Our mother is home from hospital and wants me to thank everyone for all of the kind thoughts and wishes and to tell you that she will remain strong for the family. To those who have prayed for Ken and our family from all religious backgrounds, we thank you from the bottom of our heart. The Merseyside Police has worked very closely with, with us and we would like to thank in particular the family liaison officers for their help, support and kindness. We will pray for Ken and the families of Eugene Armstrong and Jack Ensley. We truly hope solutions can be found to stop future bloodshed and loss of innocent lives. That's it.